नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू चैनल सिंपलीफाई योर स्पेस फेस्टिव सीजन हैज ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद गणेश चतुर्थी नवरात्रि ओनम दशहरा एंड दुर्गा पूजा बींग सेलिब्रेटेड अक्रॉस इंडिया दिवाली इज जस्ट अराउंड द कॉर्नर एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम वेन वी लव टू क्लीन एंड डेकोरेट आर होम्स एंड टेम्पल्स स्पेस कंस्ट्रेन एंड लिमिटेड क्रिएटिविटी ऑप्शन मे प्रेजेंट चैलेंजेस इन अ रेंटेड होम In today's video I will share how I have decorated a very small home temple in a rented house for festive season. Today's video is made in collaboration with Amazon. Now let's get started. Because this is my rented house I don't have much space here. To make the temple I chose the window side. By placing beautiful curtains here I can create a good backdrop for the mandir. I have these very beautiful curtains of white color with black and orange trees. Along with this I have also added white plain curtains. Now to give them a backdrop look I will add artificial flower hangings to them. I have these beautiful flower hangings with bells that I will place on the sides of the white curtains. Now I have taken these magnetic curtain ties and with the help of these curtains and flower hangings are tied together on both the sides. Next I have put this very beautiful hanging torrents in the middle here. It comes in a set of 4 on Amazon but I have used only 3 here. And with this our backdrop for mandir is prepared. Now I have got this one jute round floor rug. I folded it a little from the back and made a D shape and put it in the middle here. This will be used as the base for our temple. The height of the temple is very small so to give the temple little height I have used this foldable laptop table. You can use any small stool or table you have. Now because there is a gap between the floor and the table I will hide it with the help of these small flower hangings. To give a little more height I have put this wooden plank here. Now to cover it I have a very beautiful handmade set of mat asanas which I have placed here. Now we will keep our temple on top of it. This is a very small cute decorative temple which I got from Amazon. The green, yellow and orange color painting on white color is looking very nice on it. There are also pillars on the side. In this a tray has been given here to keep the lamp and incense stick as well as a small drawer has also been given to keep small items. It is a very lovely temple but it is also very small. Only very small idols can come in it. Inside I'm placing a very beautiful red asana. You can get this in a set of 2 from Amazon. Now let's decorate the base. On the edge of this mat I have put a garland of artificial flowers. And wherever there is a little gap inside flowers have been placed there. Now I have taken another small stool which I have placed in the middle here. And to cover it I had this chatai table mat which is giving a nice complement to the asana of the temple above. Almost matching matching. Now I'm taking two big garlands and making circles here on both the sides. I will keep puja chauki on them. This one is made of marble and this second one is very beautiful and is made of brass. Bells are also attached here which are making it even more beautiful. Now we will keep the rest of the items. These are beautiful brass lamps that I got from Amazon. In these the shape of peacock is made on top of it which looks very beautiful and classy. I have placed them on the sides of the temple. And here in the middle will come this crystal akhand diya. Last year I have made a video on types of diyas. If you haven't seen it yet the link is mentioned in the description box. I have taken the small size by mistake but if you want to buy it then take a little bigger size. Large size will be the best. Next is this antique kalash dhup dani, which is very beautiful, and I love it. I have placed it here on top of the brass stand. 
and on the other side I will keep this very beautiful urli made in the shape of lotus flower. I found it very pretty and unique. It will add to the beauty of any place. Now comes this beautiful silver plated puja thali set of 12 items. This is a very nice set and you will get all the items in it like four katoris, diya, small glass, lota, kumkum haldi dani, bell, spoon etc. I placed it here on the stool. With this our decoration is completed and let's move further. Now first I will keep Bhagwanji in the temple. As I said earlier this temple is very small so you can keep only small idols of God in it. I have kept Ganesh ji and Lakshmi ji here. Now I will fill all the lamps with oil. I have filled water in Urli and put flowers in it so that it looks beautiful and soothing. I have also prepared the thali for the Aarti. And here in the front, I have placed these colorful earthen lamps. My video is incomplete without organizing. So to organize the puja items, I have taken this cane basket which is very nice and spacious. It also has a lid and a handle. All my puja items come in it comfortably. I have kept incense sticks, ghee bati, matchbox etc. inside it. And to decorate it a bit, I have wrapped its handle with garland of artificial flowers. If there is no cabinet to keep the puja items, then this is a good option to organize. And I kept it on the side of the temple. With this, the decoration is done. Now we light the lamps. Wow, that looks so soothing. Today's decoration was renter friendly. Those who do not have a big temple in their house can prepare a small corner for Diwali Puja like this. Mostly you will find these small items of decoration at your home. And if you want to buy any of these items, then I have given the links in the description box below. Amazon Great Indian Festival sale is live now and you can get all these items on huge discounts. Thank you for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up and share this video with your family and friends. Do subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all the latest updates and video notifications. We'll see you all next week. Happy organizing from Simply Fire Space. Bye bye.